Hey, welcome to the channel, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I am Phil from Montreal Diecast Cafe, and uh, I want to thank everybody for the uh, the comments. Uh, the last couple of videos, you guys have been really, really interactive and had some really, really great comments. Um, I love getting these comments, guys, and uh, you guys are just awesome. Seriously, just to goes just goes to show that there's still tons of great collectors out there. And I uh, really love the hobby. So that's it's, it's a good, good thing. And it really, just, it's it's a great feeling, okay, to know that there's so many good people out there. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to, I got nothing to rant about right now, guys. I've got uh, nothing but good news. But there's one thing I would just like to mention um, with the bad comments. I mean, uh, guys, uh Bad comments are always welcome. Gotta have bad with good. I mean, it, it, there, there has to be a balance. I, I can't please everybody, and I'm always I'm gonna say something that's gonna that's gonna offend some people. I mean, uh, it always happens. So I mean, like I said, bad comments are always welcome. But the one thing I really wish that if you're gonna leave me a bad comment, I wish you at least would watch the video before you make your comments. Okay, because. A lot of people, I feel, uh, left uh, not that nice of comments, but really didn't understand my video or didn't watch it, okay? Just decided, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freak out and uh, send them a bad comment. If you're going to send bad comments, at least at least be legitimate, at least have, have reason for it, okay? I mean, a lot of you people were saying that I'm crying about not finding super treasure hunts. Uh, I'm whining about not finding chases. Obviously, you don't know me very well if you think that I'm whining or crying about chases. I've probably got one of the most extensive chase collection out there, okay? I mean, I have every super treasure hunt up until now. I have every... Treasure hunt from 95 all the way till now. I'm not crying about super treasure hunts, guys. I'm not crying about trying to find super treasure hunts. I mean, that's the whole fun of the hunt is to actually try and find super treasure hunts and treasure hunts, okay? So you didn't understand my video well. My rant in that video was more for the... Well, let me show you. Hold on a second. Just had to pull out a car, guys. Sorry about that. But anyways, here we go. Super treasure rant, okay? This was not my rant. My rant was not about finding this guy, okay? My rant is about this guy. Okay, this is what my rant's about. My rant is about the scalpers that clean out all the regular versions of the super treasure hunt. And sell these guys at $20. I mean, this is a mainline, guys. Okay? It's not even registered as a treasure hunt. Nothing to do with a treasure hunt. This, guys, is a mainline. Now, us collectors of super treasure hunts do like to have the regular version of the super treasure hunt. With it to display. Okay? That, that us collectors, we like that. Now, you scalpers, you know that, so you scoop them all up and sell them for 20 bucks on Marketplace or online or whatever. That, to me, is a scam, okay? Because, let's figure, what, $20, the car is $2, you're talking 1,000% markup. A thousand percent markup on a mainline, guys. I mean, seriously, come on. That's where I get mad, okay? And that's why I was upset with my other videos. Nothing to do with the super treasure hunts, guys. I have them all, okay? So I don't whine about super treasure hunts or chases. And obviously, you haven't seen any of my other videos. If you're going to leave me bad comments saying that I'm crying about that, you didn't understand my video, okay? My video is about the common cars, the main lines, that are marked up to ridiculous prices, okay? 
And people tell me, oh, that, that's where the hobby is. It's been like that forever. You haven't been collecting uh, very long. Well, let me show you guys one other thing. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, back in the earlier days, uh, 2006, 2005, 2007, it seems like scalpers and uh, resellers and collectors had a kind of common agreement, okay? There was always scalping around, yes. But there was a certain price range that people would respect, okay? That scalpers would respect, okay, with collectors. And this is where this has all been lost, okay? And this is why, this is why so many of the comments, why, why, why you tell me that it's always been like that? Well, technically, no. There used to be these things. Now, these are the Beckett price guide books. Okay. I got a couple of them here. All right. And um, like I said, back in the days, there was a kind of common respect between uh, collectors and scalpers. Okay. So, regular treasure hunts were going at a price of $5. Okay. That, that's basically what the regular treasure hunts were. All right. And super treasure hunts got a little bit more between 50, 60, whatever it is, whatever the car is, okay? But as you can see here, okay, these are treasure hunts, okay? This is the 2006 treasure hunts, guys. I don't know if you can see the price there, okay? $25. That was the price of a super treasure hunt back then. And resellers, they they didn't they didn't usually go that much higher than that i mean this was this was a price guide that most people pretty much followed guys okay let me go to 2007 just to show you guys because that's when the treasure hunts and the super treasure hunts came out and uh i'll just show you guys the prices that some of these were fetching at that time okay so here you go just to show you guys, the Nissan Skyline regular treasure hunt was ten dollars. Super treasure hunt was thirty dollars. Okay. Now, if this guy reach, reached fifty at that time, it was a bit expensive. Okay. But they were respected, guys. This is what we were picking them up off of, off of uh, the, your, your local scalpers. We were picking it up at that price. Okay. Now the markups are insane. They're ridiculous. I mean, people are saying market value. What market value? Who the hell created market value? Scalpers? You guys created market value, or or eBay creates market value, right? No, man. Okay. eBay is ridiculous. People fish on eBay. Okay. I've seen main lines. Of the Lincoln four door, this car was on top of eBay for the longest time, and it's a basic mainline Lincoln four door with suicide doors, white. It was going for fifteen thousand dollars. Was there for years. Nobody bought it. You're going to tell me that that is market price? The car is worth two bucks. Okay. Let me show you here. I got the 2000, uh, what is this one? 2009 edition. Okay, just to show you again. From 2007 to 2009, what the values of the Supers were and are. Okay, here we are. From 2007-2009, Corvette, regular treasure hunt. $12. Super treasure hunt. $30, guys. Okay? This was the price, guys. All right? You know, main lines, guys. Main lines. $2. $2. Okay? I mean, that's main lines. So when you take a new main line, brand new in the store, and you put it at $20, that's a thousand percent, thousand percent markup. I don't know. Would you buy anything at a thousand dollars, a thousand percent markup? Would you buy a loaf of bread? 
thousand dollar markup. Would you buy toilet paper? Thousand dollar markup. I don't think anybody would. So what the hell and who the hell made you scalpers come up with these prices? And that is exactly what my rant was about, guys. All right. Now, as I said, a lot of you guys, you're new collectors. All right. Uh, not new new collectors. Sorry about that. A lot of old collectors. But I've received uh, a lot of new subscribers. And welcome to the channel. I love you guys. And as I said, I loved all your comments. Even, even some of the bad ones. Okay. Because you need the bad comments. There can't be two sides without the two sides. So... All comments are welcome, and I'm glad I got them all. But what I did realize is that a lot of you new people don't really know who I am. Sometimes that's a good thing. But my YouTube channel, I want to be very transparent, guys, and I want everybody to know exactly where I stand and where you stand with me watching my videos, okay? I'm going to tell you guys, I work at a diecast store, okay? Um... I manage a diecast store, and um, we buy a lot of collections. That's where I get a lot of my cars. We we buy collections, and uh, we do receive at the diecast store uh, car culture. We don't receive boulevards. The only time I can find boulevards is if somebody uh, is selling a collection. We don't receive main lines. The only way I get those is through collections as well. So, I mean, I get my hands on uh, some main lines that way as well. But this this is why I don't really lack in chases. Because I buy my cases most of the time from, uh, from the diecast store that I work at. But we receive cases later than Walmarts do here. Okay, most of the time. But anyways, Mini GT, you know, 64, uh, M2, Green Light, Johnny Lightning, uh, all this we receive at, uh, at the store I work at, okay? So I do get to be able to get chases a little bit more easy than people. So this is why I don't complain about chases, okay? I'm not going to cry about chases like some of your bad comments said, okay? Anyways, I... I putting a little short video after this guys that uh, you can see where I work and uh, just to show you that I don't hurt for uh, for chases and when I rant about things like this I'm ranting for the community okay of collectors because working in a diecast store I get to hear everything I know most of the people in the Montreal diecast community I know most people they come to my store for other cars like NO64 or Mini GT or LCD or whatever it is. Okay, they come to my store and we talk. So I get to hear everything that goes on in the community. Plus, I go to monthly meets, which I did miss last night, which I'm really pissed off about. But anyway, that's a different topic. But just for you guys to get to know me, so you don't leave me stupid comments like, oh, you're crying about this, you're crying about that. No, sorry, I'm not. I'm not crying about that. I just want to see the hobby get better and if you understood my video you would know not about this it's about this okay anyway with all that being said all the ranting being done I just want to be transparent with you guys and as you guys as my followers I want you to know who I am all right and this channel is dedicated to showing diecast it's dedicated to showing what I get from my collection. Because when I first started collecting, I didn't want to see peg hunting videos. Me, I wanted to see room tour videos. I wanted to see how people place their cars, how people display their cars, cars that they collect. This is what's interesting about collecting. Not that a guy finds 50 cars on the pegs, 50, 50 chases, this, that. I don't find that so interesting, okay? my opinion i used to want to know how people displayed their cars and what they collected and that's what my channel is dedicated dedicated to guys i do collect mini gt i do collect a bit of no 64 i do collect a little bit of every other brands kaido house okay but my main focus is on hot wheels i buy hot wheels i like i open them I don't resell, guys. I'm not on what's not whatnot. I'm not on uh, 
eBay. I'm not a reseller, guys. All right. So with all that being said, you guys know now who I am, what I'm about. Let's open up some diecast, guys. And like I said, I got a little video to show you guys just where I work so you guys will see. So anyway, what we're going to do, finally got this guy. Finally got this guy. Okay, so a friend of mine picked this up at Walmart for me. I was very, very excited about that because I have, uh, I've been having a bit of trouble finding that. So, finally did get that. We did get, sorry about that. We did get our hands on some main lines, okay? We got this gorgeous guy. Beautiful, beautiful Porsche. Love that car. We did get DeLorean, Zamac, Treasure Hunt. We did get Treasure Hunt from the M case. We did find the regular. Hey, I'm pretty happy about that, eh? No scalper scalped up this guy. It's a fantasy casting, right? But anyway, we got that. Do have the Super Treasure Hunt already. It is on the wall. We got this guy. Pretty sweet. Recolor of this guy. Looking awesome in red. Comparing to Ferrari. We got this guy. Beautiful little casting. Little off-road uh, Lamborghini. Pretty cool. Uh, we managed to find... By the way, this was a fresh dump in, guys, that I got into. So I was pretty lucky. It was a Friday morning. I got into a fresh dump in. That's where I found all these main lines. Got this guy. Didn't find the Super, though, of course. Found the Super somewhere else. Got this guy. Sweet. We got this guy. Pretty sweet. Did pick up this guy. Had to pick it up. Thought it was a really cool looking casting on a metal base. Really, really thought that was worth picking up. And I do love me a Chevelle, guys. And this one in this color looks pretty sweet. So we got that. A couple of, uh, well, a few main lines to check out, guys. And we got the two-pack to check out. And I did pick up some Lucy's. We got Speed Machines Ferrari. Pretty sweet. From the original Boulevard, we've got this guy here, which is, uh, what is this? It's a Corvair, I believe, right? This is the, uh, where is it here? Very 8, sorry, Very 8, guys, okay, from the original Boulevard series, which I'm trying to complete. We've got the Fandango, is it? Fangula from the original Boulevards. Pretty cool. And we got the DeLorean from the original Boulevards. So we got three more of those slowly completing that original Boulevards. Then from the Garage Series, we've got the Corvette, Concept Stingray, pretty cool. And from a very hard set to complete is the uh, Slick Rides. We've got this guy, nice little T, uh, T1 wagon, the T1, or a Samba bus or something maybe. Anyways, this guy from the Slick Rides, slowly getting that together. And we've got a variation on the, what is this, the Anglia? Not the Anglia, the, uh, damn, I forget the name of this truck. Angelica, I think, something like that. Anyways, we've got this guy. And, yep, does have a opening hood. And I've got a variation of it, both from the same series, the Slick Rides. And it also has the opening hood. Very cool. So we got those. So there are a few cars we are going to spin on that turntable, guys. All right. So I, I say we set up that trusty turntable and we start spinning some Hot Wheels, guys. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so let's first go through these uh, Lucy's very quickly. Starting off with the Ferrari Speed Machines, guys. Okay, this is here's the base. And this is from the 2010 uh, lineup, guys. Uh, this is actually one of the speed machines I'm missing from my collection. Very, very tough 
collection to uh, complete is the old, old speed machines. They do demand a pretty high price, uh, which is understandable. They're a bit hard to get a hold of. So, uh, yeah. Looking good in this blue. Looking good with these white wheels. And we've got the red line lip, which is sweet. Very nice little piece. Then, as I said, we do have the Vary 8 from the original Boulevard set. Glad to get this one into the collection. All metal. Metal base. Metal bumper. The engine does come through the bottom. I wonder if it... No, it doesn't come apart. It looks like it should, but it doesn't. And the engine's in the back. A bit hard to see. But definitely a kind of cool casting. It does look a lot like the Corvair, as I was saying. Moving on. The Fangula. Pretty cool looking casting. Do like these colors. Nice white walls. Very cool looking car. Got a bit of a hearse feel to it. Okay. DeLorean guys. Which has definitely been in a lot of places. But this is from the original Boulevard. And we are going to take a look at two, De two DeLoreans today. Because it did make Treasure Hunt again. Okay, Garage Series. Only picked up one car for the Garage Series, which is another set that's a bit difficult to uh, complete. And it is this Concept Stingray. And this one is pretty cool. It's like a, almost like a purple black metallic. Very, very cool color on this guy. Looking great. Red interior, red lined uh, blacked out wheels. Definitely a pretty cool looking piece. Now for any of you guys that do like the Samba bus or the Volkswagen, this PPG version is beautiful. And as I said, this is from the Slick Ride series. And the Slick Ride series seems to have a lot of cars with variations. As you're going to see with the next uh, vehicle that I put on. So it's a bit of a tougher set to complete as well. If you're looking to complete these old sets, they're tough and fun at the same time because you really got to hunt them. This is one of them that I said is a variation. You can see it's a Headman Headers, white with blue flames. Then you have this version, Headman Headers, purple with red flames. Both from the same series. And as I said, they both have the opening hoods which is pretty cool very cool little trucks there we go okay should we open up this two pack let's open up this two pack because I've really been dying to get this guy open I've been dying to have this one and this is the Elucid it was very hard to find but apparently now they're flooding all the Walmart, so now they don't seem to be as hard to find as when they were first released, which is kind of weird because it was just about a week or two weeks ago, I think. It was about two weeks ago that this was very hard to find, and now they seem to be everywhere. Look at that. Two good looking costumes, guys. We do have the S15 then. Nissan Silvia. There's your base. Nice polished metal base. Blacked out wheels. And I just love the color combinations on both of these cars, guys. This is why this set was really one that I was looking for as well. Look at how beautiful that is. Awesome, awesome version of that car. And even the S14. Look at that. They, they did the side mirrors, guys. This is just beautiful. Now, even the S14 here, 
is another beautiful looking one. What a great duo. Simply beautiful, honestly. And this is why it was such a hard set to get. Because, I mean, it was just scalped all kinds. But like I said, the tough led of the market now. So they're everywhere. Now that's a bonus. Now everyone can get one. At regular price. Okay, should we whip through these main lines? Already the video is pretty long. Uh, we'll whip through it anyways. Let's go. I'm going to whip, whip, whip. And that's it. Start off with this Porsche. Love this Porsche casting. Looks amazing, guys. Plastic base. White wheels. Off-road. This thing looks cool. What a great casting. Was done in Matchbox. And now Hot Wheels has got it out. And with the side mirrors, this car looks complete beautifully. And off she goes. Still a Hot Wheels, so they still go pretty quick. Okay, next one. Let's open up this treasure hunt. DeLorean Zamak. There's a symbol. And here she is. In a raw. Nice color combination. Beautiful, beautiful treasure hunt. Where is the symbol? Right there. Next treasure hunt is the Ford Transit Connect. There's a symbol. And this one here should be a little bit harder to find the symbol, guys. And there it is. Right in the center of the flower. And there's your Ford Connect Transit. Cool little truck. Cool little livery. And nice. 64 Chevelle SS in this kind of look at that gold flake metallic on this kind of cream color car. That is really nice. Beautiful, beautiful paint job on this car. Just simply awesome. And we got the small block. And off he goes. There's the small block. Kind of a strange looking casting, but definitely cool. Metal base, which brings out the metal engine. And it looks like it's made in wood. That's the way it's made to look. That's why they call it the small block, I guess. Block of wood. But look at those wheels. Never seen those wheels before. That is pretty interesting, to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, very, very different. So it's kind of cool. Okay, next one is the Nissan Skyline GTR R33 and Godzilla in this matte gray. Very, very cool. This one was a bit tough to find as well. I was lucky to get this one. There was only one in the dump bin. Next is the 63 Studebaker Champ. This one, we do not have any defects, which is cool. Nice casting as well. I like this with the Studebaker Champ. I think it's a cool looking casting. I am, guys, whipping through these main lines because I really don't want the video to be too, too long, guys. It's already looking a little bit long. Next is the Audi Quattro in black. Beautiful as well. Love this casting in black. Next is the... What is, what is it with these cars jumping off the turntable today? They got a mind of their own. Okay, next is the Lamborghini Huracan Strato. It looks like an off-road version 
of the Lamborghini. She looks lifted. Kind of cool looking. Kind of real cool looking, actually. And two last. We've got the Porsche 904 Carrera GTS in red. There she is. This casting is simply beautiful, guys. Simply beautiful. And the last one is the M3 Wagon BMW in red as well, which is just another beautiful, beautiful casting. Simply stunning. And then the Solerino GT Fantasy Casting, regular version of the Super Treasure Hunt. Any of you guys out there that want to see it, there she is. And you want to compare it to the Super Treasure Hunt. There she is. Bit hard to tell by color. When you look in the case, it's going to be a bit hard to tell to find it. But there they are, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Till next time, everybody, be safe, be well, happy hunting, and keep those comments coming in, guys. I love it. This is a tight community. Let's keep it tight, guys. Ciao. Okay, so the reason that I'm doing this video, well, besides the fact that I got some stuff to show you guys, which is pretty cool, did find some stuff in the store, but just to let you know, this here is where I work, okay? This is my job. Now, this is my retirement job, guys, okay? So I do work for a die-cast store, and for all you guys on my last videos, that were, uh, well, the, the negative people on my last videos made me laugh a little bit by saying, oh, I'm only chasing supers, uh, I'm crying because I can't find super treasure hunts or chases or this and that, I can't find good cars. Uh, obviously, you don't know me very well. So I figure I might as well do this video just to show you guys that, uh, well, I don't hurt for diecast, okay? But anyways, here we go. Look, look inside. Here we are. This is what you call diecast, guys. We got tarmac, Shuko, tarmac, Nano 64, Kaido House, airplanes by the tons, Hot Wheels by the tons. Okay, complete sets. All right. These are all green lights. Okay. That's a wall of Mini GT down there. Okay. Uh, Para 64, Aero Car, uh, you name it. It's here. Hot Wheels. Okay. Hot Wheels. All right. RLCs. Okay. Special Hot Wheels, which we usually buy collections from people that come in all right so as you can see it's a very big store all die cast guys okay so you guys that saw my last video not all of you guys especially the guys with the negative comments a lot of you don't didn't really understand my video okay what i'm complaining about is something completely different. I'm not complaining about not finding super treasure hunts, not finding chases. That I find everything. Okay? I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the price 
that the people scalped the main lines at of the super treasure hunts. The main lines of the super treasure hunts. Up a thousand percent. Okay. So anyways, the next time, guys, you want to leave me really bad comments, that's perfectly fine. But please, at least get your story straight or at least watch my video before you leave me those bad comments. All right? Anyways, there you have it, guys. We'll talk soon.